Hi Aries, thank you so much for visiting my channel. My name is Tori. You guys, I hope that you're having an amazing day and that this message will find you well. So Aries, this is going to be a timeless love reading to so find out what your person is thinking about you and this relationship right now or this connection. So Aries, keep in mind that energy is fluid. These things could have already happened in your life. They may be happening right now or they could happen in the future. Of course, the free will of you and your person will determine the outcome, okay? Um, he could be a she, she could be a he, the roles may be reversed, uh, someone could be cross-watching. So you guys, only take the messages if they resonate with you. If you did not find a message in this video, you can check my channel for other videos um, for different signs in your chart. Your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, okay? backstory here and see what's going on Aries. I think it was at the beginning of my reading. Uh, Aries, it seems like someone in the past was really trying to um, temper their energy, having a lot of strength to, to really work on themselves. I feel like some of you are saying that you weren't you weren't really looking for someone, but someone just came in, okay? It seems like you just kind of met someone by chance. And I see the temperance card, the queen of swords, and the the three of wands. So it seems like you guys are really just, you know, in a very balanced, cool, calm, collective state. And someone came in, you may have felt like this person wasn't being completely honest with you from the beginning. You kind of had your guard up, but you still decided to deal with this person. I think that you guys may have realized though that this person may be a bit non-committal. Okay. There could be a third party involved. I have the Knight of Wands here, the Three of Pentacles. And the page of pentacles you could have even met this person at work okay um or this could be someone from your past you guys definitely could be dealing with someone from your past but there may be some some type of truth coming out about this particular person um i don't know let's see you guys are moving towards a person though there is an offer of love that you guys are even making to someone or that someone is making to you knight of pentacles here the chariot card the queen of cups and then here at the bottom of the deck i see the knight of cups and the star card yeah, someone here is wanting to um, fix this situation if something has actually gone wrong here okay so aries let's see what's going on with your person this person wants to reunite Okay. This person wants to come back together for sure. They want to make sure that you guys can come back together and make this situation work. But there's been some heartbreak here. There has definitely been a third party situation that has happened. There's been a breakup. There's been some heartbreak, some deceit centered, I think, around a different person. Yeah. This person, though, is hoping that you guys can move forward into, you know, calmer waters after whatever has happened person may really be wanting to come to you to offer some type of apology but i feel that you guys are a bit close to the idea of reconciling with this person because you were hesitant to deal with this person before this may have been someone that you knew from the past um and you may have had your reservations about dealing with this person because maybe you saw how they were in other relationships or you know just as a friend you knew how they were and you didn't think that the two of you were really a good match but you took a chance and this person they proved you right. Yeah, in the past, yeah, this person had a lot of different options. A lot of options. Yeah, but they want to actually come together and have this passionate beginning with you. This person really wants to take action towards you. I'm feeling like for some of you, you guys really tried to date a friend. I don't know why I really feel that. You guys, you dated someone that was either a friend from the past or someone whom you dated from the past. And it's sort of like this was their second chance and they blew it. But this is this is someone whom you dealt with before. They may have come back to you and you were hesitant to deal with them um, because of whatever happened in the past. Or you, you know that they have a track record of cheating or something. And it, it's hurtful to you because it was true. 
So how does this person feel? Wow. This person, they feel like, you know, they want security. They want stability. They want a long-term committed relationship. This person may even feel like you're their twin flame or soulmate. Interesting. How do they feel about the relationship? Truth, clarity. They feel like this is it for them. I mean, to have the four of wands here with the ace of swords, they're not in denial at all about the fact that they would like to have a commitment with you. What is the blockage here, the hierophant? So this person could um, be someone who just is not as spiritual as you are. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Or, you know, for some of you, this person may could have some other type of commitment. But I'm getting that this person, they're not as spiritual as you. Like, this person hasn't really tapped into their higher self. And I feel like when this person came to you, you were just kind of doing your own thing. Like I said, but in the beginning, you were very balanced. You know, you were doing just fine and this person kind of came in. And you knew that you weren't really on the same path like you were just in two totally different worlds but for some reason there's a there's a connection between you and this person so what is next hmm. juggling two of pentacles yeah. this is someone here i feel who um they have some problems with com commitment but if it's not just commitment i, I feel though this person they just have different things going on in their life Okay, for some of you, this person very well is someone who may have been in a marriage. And I just kind of got that storyline here, Matt. It's like you may have met this person. You know what? This person may have been like legally separated from someone when you met. And you probably was thinking to yourself like, oh, I really shouldn't, you know, get too involved with this person because I still have a situation. This person may have went back to that person. I don't feel like they're going to stay with that person, but they were juggling you and this person. They're still juggling, too. Yeah. For some of you, you might be dealing with someone, like I said, legally separated or something. You were super hesitant to deal with them. You got burned. This, part this person deceived you. They hurt you. Yeah. This person, they, they want to do whatever it takes to make the situation work with you, I feel. The way they go about making things work, though, is probably something that may be frowned upon by other people. But I feel like you guys are dealing with someone who they really just don't care. <laughs> they don't really care about what other people think about them or when it comes to them getting what they want. There was a lot of conflict here. A lot of fights and arguments about a third party. But this person, I mean, they want to move forward with you. They're trying to get themselves out of another situation, I feel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at this. This person, they're, they're trying to walk away from another situation to take action. To move towards you. Look at this. This person has been married for sure. There's something going on legally that's coming out of nowhere with the tower card. It's something that may happen suddenly. If this person was like legally separated or something, that their person may say suddenly like, no, we need to divorce now. This person is just like they're in between worlds right now. Yeah. <laughs> like I said in the past this person had a lot of options type of person who was always in their head and they didn't feel the need to stop communicating with anyone you know they had like their, their pick so happening in the future with this person trying to have this passionate new beginning I don't 
talking about? I just what the phone call. Yeah, this person, Aries, this is your energy here. Are you dealing with an Aries? But someone just has like a lot of energy. They know what they want and they just go for it. You guys keep in mind, like I said, if the the energy can definitely be reversed. So if this is you, Aries, you know, it could be you or your person. But someone here is, is ready to just take a huge leap of faith. They know what they want and they want to go for it. I mean, yeah, with the Eight of Wands out here, with the Ace of Wands and the Fool card. The Four of Wands. I mean, it seems like this is a messy situation, but still, someone knows what they want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Someone knows what they want. Someone knows where they want to have this this happy life. They know exactly who they want to be with. Her. The Empress. So for some of you, your person, like I said, is in a really messy situation. But they have made a decision to build something with you. The truth is, this person, no matter what has happened, this person wants to take a stance. There's a lot of conflict and confusion, but this person is trying to work through all of that. Okay. Yeah, this person, they, they want to slay these dragons. Whatever is keeping the two of you apart, they want to deal with that situation. For some of you, it's a marriage. Marriage, separation, something. Could be you guys have different, you know, views when it comes to religion or family. They could have a family that has a lot to say about this connection. Whatever the blockage is, though, like this person is ready to, to deal with it. Like I said, I definitely feel like this person, you may be more spiritual than the person that you're dealing with. So this person, they have, I feel, a lot of different, just deceitful ways. This is the kind of person, they, they, they hide the truth about certain things. They hide different things that, you know, they, they tend to do. This person, I feel, sort of has like a double life, for sure. But, I mean, I feel like for some of you, this person has been juggling, and you always knew that they were juggling anyway. But this person is coming to realize, though, that they don't want to do that. They are starting to see what's important. They want a, a grounded, stable household with someone who, you know, can make their money but be very generous. I'm trying to think. There was another reading that I did earlier, and it was a very, very similar storyline. Um, who was that? Was it, was it Taurus maybe? I can't remember. It may have been Taurus. I don't know. You guys can check that with me. It may be, it's a very similar storyline though. Was it Taurus or maybe it was Cancer? I can't remember. So in the future here, we have, wow. <laughs> yeah, this person is still judging and they're in their heads about it. They don't really know how to get themselves out of this situation. They know who and what their wish fulfillment is, but this person is still stuck in their head because this person has unfinished business. They're, they're trying to tie up some loose ends. Yeah, really stuck. Yeah. A decision has to be made here. This person has to decide just how much do they, do they really love you. Because... Whatever situation they want, they're going to have to invest in it. I don't have to put the time in, okay? Put the work in. You know, if this person has something with you, I mean, they, they ruined that. So now they have to decide, you know, 
do they want to actually put the work in time to rebuild this connection with you or do they want to just move on or perhaps even go back to the person from their past okay but i feel that this person they feel like there is a deep bond between the two of you they really do miss you okay but you know let's see what are they going to do so let's just pull some oracle cards here from the world for a little bit to see if you can get some advice about your person Aries. paradise happiness expansion joy enjoying each other hmm. all these cards just came out and you know it's not a take us cassette Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, this person is constantly replaying how how nice your relationship was before. They really miss you. Really, really miss you. It's like this person is stuck in some situation, but they really want to be with you. But when they were with you, they went back to this situation. They they get this person gambled with your heart. They betrayed you. Because I feel like some of you, you knew this person was in another connection or situation. Like I said, I'm, for many of you, this person had been legally separated from someone or something. But you thought that the two of you were, you know, committed, exclusive to one another uh, while they were working through something else. But this person decided to go back to that situation. And I feel for you, that was just the ultimate betrayal. Because you, you took a chance on them to begin with. Yeah, oh my goodness stab in the back exactly oh my god i cannot <laughs> y'all have seen me shuffle the card i didn't even see this card anyway stabbing the heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack yeah this person just completely stabbed you in the back with this situation whatever it is the clock card here it says need time takes time time to heal progress yeah i think that um you know if you choose to deal with this person you guys are going to need some time to get over this situation some of you may feel like maybe you can't be that mad because you knew that this person was dealing with someone else while they were transitioning out of the situation but you know that's not an excuse because i feel that the two of you you and this person you knew for a sure fact that you were supposed to be moving on together. Okay. So we have the butterfly here. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. Yeah. So for some of you, this situation, it could work out. But I feel like for this situation or connection to work out, this person would literally have to get completely out of another situation and you would have to start over fresh okay there's trust issues here though you don't really trust this person you don't and then now that this whatever this situation is that has taken place you really don't trust this person this person they love you they choose you but i feel like this person um make sure that you know their their level of commitment the next time around if you choose to actually you know move forward with this person so yeah aries this has been your reading i hope that this provided you with some truth or some clarity on the situation that you may be dealing with right now with your person um you guys please please do me the huge favor of um subscribing to my channel please like and comment so that we can start to um of course interact with each other in the in the comment section okay i would really like to grow this channel and I'm open to any of your feedback or suggestions. You guys, make sure that you always go within yourself so that you never go without, okay? It's crazy out here right now. So, um, until next time, Aries, wishing you the very best. Love you much. Bye.